Hey guys, how are you? Uh, hey, Danny O here. Um, just uh, got another game for you. I uh, played recently, I think it was yesterday, day before. Yeah, yesterday I played this game. Um, 2v2, random saves, uh, random teams, no idea who I'm playing with again. Um, I end up with the Koreans, um, and I've got uh, 31 Aligo, uh, who's got the Aztec. Um, and we're playing against uh, Red Magefire, who's got Persians, and Morlock Sky, who's got the Huns. Um, so. This game don't go too well for me. I'm just going to speed it up again. Uh, there we are. Um, so yeah, this game's... Uh, I'm, I'm not fantastic with this one. Um, we'll quickly run through all the other civs though. So go and look at my teammate over here in the yellow. Uh, right inside. As mentioned before, he's got the Aztecs. Um, got all his sheep gathered around his TC in one go. So they're not going anywhere. Uh, go and look at Magefire over here to the bottom right. Um, we are playing Allied Vision. It's not a mod I've played before. Um, but Magefire's got the Persians. Um, he's found all his sheep, I think. Uh, let's go and see how Morlock Sky's doing. Um, so he's got the. Um, who's he got? Amramindo. Huns. Um. Yeah, so up and running. Let's go and keep an eye on myself, see how I'm doing. So I've got all my ball. Uh, looks like my map's pretty uh, easy wall off. Um, nice wood lines all around. I've also got my deer patch right next to my berries, which is always handy. I've um, got three on wood. Going out to get my first ball. In fact, building house first before I get there. Don't know what I was doing right now. Idle village are not going to get the ball. Yeah, there's my first boring. Going out to berries now as well. Doing alright with villager production. Level with the, uh, well, just behind. Red Magefire, who's got just, he's just ahead of me by about 10 seconds with that 14th villager. Um, but my teammate and green, uh, Mullet Skies, a little bit behind. Going out to get my second ball now. I think I lose this villager. <laughs> yep, lost that villager. So I'm now behind on a villager. I think yellow flares to say where red is in a minute. I hope I'm doing all right, apart from losing a villager. Um, my start's been pretty decent so far. I accidentally sent villager there. I meant to have five over here first, so she should have come over here and the next one should have come over here. So that messed up my build door a bit. I was wondering why I couldn't afford the lumber camp, which I normally can afford. Berries. Now I've moved those five over here. Just a bit of inefficiency. So I've not got the same wood income. Um, but just clicking up on 21 pop. Obviously I've created 22 and lost one. Um, I have got the villager lead somehow. Don't know how. There we go, clicked up. So first click up. 
Go and take the deer, some free food. Save yourself to spend wood on building a farm. Serves again, see everyone else. Go and see my teammate, how he's doing. Attack an enemy now. Um, so he's doing all right. He's only got three on wood, which is a bit low. Got a lot of food. Although he has already clicked up. He's going to struggle, I think, with wood in a minute. Uh, Go and see green, who I'm up against. He's just beginning to wall up now. He's already clicked up. My scout just about survives the TC fire. He's taking deer as well. Don't see red. I'm first up. Um, so red, he's up on his way up to feudal, uh, just starting his wall up, getting his barracks down as well. Um, he's a little bit short on wood as well. I think he's got a lot on food. He's got two on stragglers. And then four on lumber camp. A lot on deer. So let's go back to me. See how I'm doing. So my build order's coming along nicely. Just got a stable coming down. Beginning to wall up. Attack and These buildings enemy should have been now. built here, really. Just in front of the stone would have been better, but. Oh well. Idols sat around doing nothing. They're gonna start walling up as I'm about to get housed. Oh, I already am housed. Four on all these houses, only needed one doing them. Have I started producing scouts yet? Yep, yeah, start producing scouts. I've walled up here. I haven't walled up here. I don't spot it. That one tile gap. That one tile gap pretty much ruins my game. I'm doing okay at the minute. I've got quite a bit of a score lead over everyone else. 150 points ahead, pretty much, of everyone else. Just a little bit behind my teammate and Bills. Not far. Sent my first attack party for scouts. Out to see if um, there's anywhere I can attack. And as you can see, green's fully walled. This villager here just comes in and blocks the, the one gap that was left. So now I'm switching to ar archery ranges. See if I can pick anyone, any villagers off from a bit of range. Stop producing scouts now with the six I've got, I think. Yeah, I'm not producing any more scouts. I never know what to do with my scouts at this point. Can't do any actual damage with them. Because everyone's fully walled. Green's just clicked up to castle. Miles ahead of everyone, I'm nowhere near getting to castle. Um, but I've got a healthy score lead. Um, just getting some more houses down, strengthening the walls. Uh, Green has spearmen. Attack an enemy now. My teammates advance into Castle Age as well. I decide because I can't get into green space, go and see if I can poke at red. See if we can do some damage there. And 
I'm producing archers as well. As we get close to Red's base. He's fully walled as well. So that's kind of a non-existent. So really what I should do now is stop producing archers and get myself up to castle as quick as possible. Um, everyone else has clicked up now. I'm just getting a blacksmith down. I'm still going with the archers. Getting a blacksmith down so I can get my uh, fletching. Still got a hole in the wall here. Just put a market down because I've seen people get to castle. So I'm going to try and force myself up as quick as I can. I'm not uh, too far off now. Yellow's got a couple of eagles. Got, well, just his eagles over there, keeping an eye out. He's very nearly at castle now. Got a lot on stone. He's obviously going for a castle. Attack an enemy now. Can't see how we're doing. Just sending these scouts in again just to see if we can uh, find a gap. I really wish I'd have put a house or a wall or something here. Now, you'd think I'm sending her out to wall. I'm not. I sent her out to build this and I'd walled up this gap. So she's going the long way around. But I don't recognise it or realise. The first I realise there's a hole is when these guys start attacking my wall from the wrong side. I look at it and think, oh no. How have they got there? Whilst that, I'm attacking this wall here with these scouts. Now I've spotted it, sent her to, to wall up the gap. But there's already guys inside my walls. And this gets me all disjointed. And I lose track of what I'm doing. I am nearly up, and I've got my scouts coming home. Now I'm up against two cavalry sifts, Persians and Huns. So really I should be teching into pikemen. But I don't. That's not what I plan to do. I'm going with my normal knights and skirms build. Um, a stone miner's just been killed, assassinated by Green's Knights. Um, all I've got at the minute is a handful of archers and a handful of scouts. This should be enough to deal with this initial wave. But only just. And there we are, I've made it up to the castle. Got a lot of wooden food in the bank, so I've got a strong eco. <sighs> Lost all my scouts now. Going for three TCs. Two two new TCs are up on the way up. Here come the knights back again. I'll just produce two more scouts. Have I? No, I think they were the two existing scouts I had in my base. Just sat around. And lose all my military to these three scouts, three knights. And now I start falling apart. Just all starts going wrong. Enemy now. I've still got my units coming out to a gather point. I need to make them gather to inside the building instead of going out. Got a decent eco going though. Village lead.
gonna lose a villager here though. Oh no, they leave my villager alone. Decide not to get hurt him. Which is nice of them. Got a second TC up. Third one's not far off now. But these knights are gonna be a pain. I've just teched into pikemen, so I can actually fend off knights. But I don't put down another barracks, which I should do. Got plenty of wood, plenty of food to be able to mass produce pikes. And I've got them just stood in. They should be the meat, the front line, doing all the master, ma major damage to the knights. But they're not. See how my teammates getting on because these knights are obviously just running around my base and I don't know how to defend from them. So my teammates got a castle up. It's got a couple of time centers. One new one it looks like. And he's starting to produce produce pikes, which is the right move. Attack an enemy now. But he hasn't got enough. He's got a lot of gold in the bank, but not much wood or food. I flared to say him being attacked. The teammate flares to say he's also being attacked. So at this point, realistically, I should just relocate over here to this gold. Maybe another town centre here. And just forget about this little bit of my base and start mass producing pikes, which I've started doing. Accidentally produced two militia as well. There's only five knights in here. I'm doing all right for a number of villagers, I'm not far off the opponent teams. Uh, these two militia aren't gonna do very much, but now there's a gap here, they're mining my gold. And I'm really struggling. I'm just not producing enough pikes. Need to get another barracks down. Need to garrison this TC. And do something about this attack on my base. Refresh this lumber camp. I refresh this one that I've obviously had to abandon. This TC seems to be fairly safe at the minute. And I'm really struggling fending off this attack. It's just skirms and knights. So I've got pikes and knights to counter it, which is the right composition. And I fend off that little bit, and I'm pushing it back out again. But I just haven't got enough of it. I've got these guys stood here. If they were in this fight, it would, I'd probably win it. But they're just stood here. being efficient. I've got the villager lead now, even though I'm the only one really getting pressured. And I've got the highest, second highest score, third highest score. Very close scores, it's just my teammate who's behind, but I'm not seeing a lot of pressure. sent this villager to try and wall this gap and notice that green is trying to build a castle in my base
I'm just not doing very well here at all, fending this off. Many mistakes have been made. And that castle's pretty much up. So now I've got a castle in my base. Not mine. I'm just not doing what I need to do. I've got a huge villager lead now. Five villagers ahead of anyone else. Made so many mistakes. Now green's clicking up to the Imperial Age. I've still got a nice eco. But I'm just not able to produce enough units to deal with this attack. I'm making the wrong units in making skirms. I've got the gold to be producing knights and I've got the, and the gold income to be producing knights. And I could be producing pikes, but I'm not producing pikes. And I'm just throwing units away at this castle. And I've just sent one battering ram in that's not going to do anything at all. So really struggling, really, really struggling. Not garrisoning the TC quickly enough. I need to be faster at it. Producing tons of pikes, absolutely tons of them. I should be doing. Refresh this lumber camp. More farms. Rebuilding a market so I can balance my eco out. So I have a lot of wood and I'm struggling farming because I'm not garrisoning my TC and I'm not producing pikes to deal with these bloody horses. And here comes another castle. Now I've got rid of that trap, I should pull these knights back so they're out of castle range. Go and kill this villager so the castle doesn't go up. All these villagers. But instead I just lose them all. I try and balance my eco to go up and then realise I haven't got a castle or... Um, I've got the siege workshop but I haven't got a university or monastery or a castle so I can't click up. Got plenty of wood so I could build one, but I just continue to lose villagers. More and more and more green push into me. I decide enough's enough. Out. And I begin the mass migration. Abandon my base entirely. Because it's been endless errors and mistakes by me. 
Yellow's doing a little bit of a push with some Eagles. I could have easily done a bit of a counter-attack. Let's see how Green's getting on. I could have easily done a bit of a counter-attack. Well, at least attempted to. There's a gap here in the walls. Could have easily pushed back against Green a little bit. Just sent some Knights into his base. He's on Attack two TCs. An enemy now. See how Red's getting on. Same, there's gaps here in the walls. The teammate's in to yell into Red's face. Don't know how he got in, but he's in. Oh, there's a gap here. He's also two TCs, so I'm the only one that went to t three TC. The flare at my uh, villagers, making a run for it. completely abandoned my base, apart from two villagers who were left in that town centre I'll forget about. I'm going to head down here and start building two new TCs. Thinking I might be alright up here, or down here even. Reboom, I've got some decent resources. I'm going to make one last stand at my old base with what I have. Produce a few knights and a few skirms instead of pikes. When all, all I've had at me is cavalry units the whole game and I, I keep producing skirms. So now green and red can focus on yellow because I'm pretty much dead. My population's plummeting. When I started this mass migration I was at about 120 pop. Now down to 39. About to lose one of the TCs I've just built. Now my score's plummeting. Still got this military here which I'm saving for now. Lost all the villages in this town centre. So I'm down to these three villages. And this one here, who's now dead. So down to three villages. Tried building a wall here, although there's a big gap here anyway that they could walk through. Still got this military up here. So I've got 22 military and 3 villagers. Yellow's down to 32, so we're pretty much beat. My old base is pretty much destroyed. They're mining my gold. I decide to send one of these villagers away to see if there's anywhere else I can build a base. And at this point I pretty much decided it's game over. I think I'll send these guys to the death in a minute into here to see if I can clear up any of his military. So he goes and hides up here. Focus on yellow for a bit, see how he's getting on. So yellow's got a nice healthy base, but has hardly any villagers. He just doesn't seem to be producing any, even though he's got plenty of food. He's just not producing villagers.
I've just sent my military in, the remains of it, but we're going to have no chance against Cav Cavalier, Knights and Skirms. And Red's rolling on yellow. So, that's pretty much the end of that game. Let's look at the achievements. Though, as you can see, I didn't do very well at the time. Lots of mistakes during the early game. Well, from feudal onwards, really. Never got a decent size army going. It was all right, all right with resource collection. I collected similar food and wood to green. In fact, I collected more wood and similar food. First to feudal. Last to castle. Never made it to imp. Had the most villages out of everyone at some point in the game. And there's a timeline. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you again soon.